Can I scale a no-code application? Is no-code scalable? That's what I'm gonna be talking about during this video. Hi, my name is Caio, I'm the CTO of We Are No Code and in this channel we talk all about the no code space. So if you're new to this no code universe or if you want to know more about these no code tools and what you can build using no code tools, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also leave a thumbs up on the video. So. Let's talk about this subject today. Can I scale a no-code application with no-code scalable? That's something that a lot of people always ask me and I get it, it's a normal question. People want to know if once they build their own software using no-code tools, if that will last, right? If you can keep using that no-code tool forever or as long as possible and if you can scale your application. So that's something that I would say right straight from the bat that it is possible to scale. So I've seen a lot of people doing that. I've seen projects scaling and getting lots of users using no-code tools to build that software, to power that software. Now let's think a little bit about this even further. Why are people concerned about that, right? So people want to know like, oh, I'm going to build my software. I'm going to build my startup project using no code tools. And then I'm concerned that once I do that, if I succeed, if I get a lot of users using my application, that no code tool will handle that uh, high volume of people accessing my application, accessing my website, my web app, whatever you are trying to build. So I understand that's a common fear. And also it comes a little bit attached to the fact that no code something new and when we talk about something new people always come with lots of questions and uncertainty around it because it's something new it's new technology it's similar to when we heard about crypto for the first time lots of people asking lots of things scared about it scared of how it works if that works if it's true if it's legit and same thing happens with no code and any other technology any other new technology so I believe that that this question is kind of rooted in the fact that no code is, is still new to a lot of people and people are just scared about it and they come up with reasons to not use it or come up with reasons to be skeptical about it. So just to talk about that like yes it is possible to scale an application. Now let's think about one thing. A lot of people ask if they can scale their applications right at the beginning, right before actually building anything. So what I question about that approach is like, do you really need to scale right now? And is that really a concern for you? Because we know a lot of startup ideas will fail or will take some time to actually find market fit. And I'm assuming that scalability is not gonna be a concern for you for a good amount of time. It will be one of the least things that you have to think about when building your startup, when building your first MVP. Of course, at some point when you start getting traction, when you start getting market fit and people are willing to use your application, then scalability can be something that you need to consider. But let's think about this a little bit further. Like when you build an MVP with code or without code, do you consider scalability as your top? priority like is that something that you have to do I don't think so right because you're just trying to figure out like if that idea has market potential if there are interested people that will want to pay for the service or we want to use that service that tool or that product you are building and you want to know if that product is actually solving a market need so even though if you build with code in the traditional methods I'm assuming that even a development team will not consider scalability as the main factor because thinking about how you can build an application from scratch thinking about scalability it takes a lot of effort for you to make sure that everything will scale well straight uh, in the beginning of the project that's something that I am myself aware and I believe that a 
lot of teams, development teams, even using code, they don't take that into consideration when building the first version of any product. So scalability comes with time and scalability is not only related to the no code tools itself or not even code itself. It is related to a lot of things. And maybe the thing you need to scale is not just the infrastructure of your app or your, of your software. It's sometimes related to people. Sometimes if your tool works well and the infrastructure is enough, the app you're creating is enough off and can scale but then if you lack people to actually manage that software or to provide support for your users you need to scale in that area and not on the software area so scalability can be multiple things can be related to software yes can be related to infrastructure to servers but also can be related to people and other processes that your company has to run multiple times and that has to be scalable because you need to do that action multiple times and the more users you have, the more you have to do it. So I don't think scalability at all should be a concern for you if you're just getting started. If you're just building your first MVP or first startup idea, the main goal right now for you is to use something that can make you get there faster. And no code is awesome for that. And yes, it will be possible for you to scale that application even using no code. But maybe the first version you are going to create even using no code tools, it is not going to be built thinking of scalability as a top priority. Your top priority is to validate that idea, is to build something and to bring it to the market and see how it performs. Later, if you figure out that that's working well and if you run into scalability issues because you couldn't build that with scalability in mind for the first time, that's perfectly fine because scalability was not your goal. Imagine if you build your application, take more time to make it scalable at first, and then you launch it, and then you see no one wants it, no one is using it. What a waste of time making sure that that was scalable for nothing, for no one that's going to use it. So it's better for you to do the opposite, build something non-scalable at first, even doing manual stuff, do not try to automate everything and then if you need then to do it to scale to automate things then you do it by demand when you really need that that's the smartest approach so i think that summarizes all the thoughts that i wanted to share in this video and before you go i just want to invite you to learn a little bit more about the no code space and to start doing that we prepared just for you a free course that you can find down below in the video description section there is a link for you to enroll for free so you can take your first step into the no code space and learn how to launch your startup business without being a technical person so go there down below in the link in the video description section and sign up for free. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel. I talk to you on the next videos. Let's no code.